So, hello guys and welcome to a little different type of vlog this time. Uh, me and my friends Martinez and Rocas went uh, wave sailing uh, the other week and uh, yeah, we are not great wave sailors whatsoever. We all come from a racing background, we live in a landlocked city and uh, yeah, we just want to basically improve in waves and we started kind of like pushing for it uh, rather recently, just, you know, trying to improve, trying to get better. So this vlog is gonna be kind of just making it for myself as to film, watch and see my mistakes, specifically in wave riding. And uh, yeah, to be able to, you know, just look back on it, see what mistakes I made. And every time I go wave sailing, I'll watch this video to remind myself of what not to do and what to do the next time. So let's dive into the video and I will jump in in the background talking about what's happening, what mistakes I see from myself and my buddies. And uh, yeah, by the way, I'm sure there are a lot of much better wave sailors out there. Uh, than myself. So if you see any mistakes that I'm making or tips that could help me to progress faster and to be a better wave sailor, uh, leave them in the comments, please. Uh, it would be much appreciated. And yeah, if you're looking for sick wave action, uh, then head over to Ricardo's Compello's channel or um, I don't know some other channel where they have good guys. Because <laughs> yeah, you're definitely not gonna find that here. But if you want to see some shitty wave riding, some fools and uh, some funny stuff, then keep on watching. Thank you. Bye. Let's go. Good morning, people, and welcome to Wave Sailing in Lithuania. So, I'm here with Marquinas, who you probably already know. And uh, we are in Klaipeda, one of the better wave sailing spots in Lithuania. Uh, but at the moment, it's pouring, it's fucking raining cats and dogs, and uh, we still haven't changed our wetsuits, so <laughs> and we're hiding in the car. And uh, the wind just started in the early morning so the wave is still building up so there's no rush to get in the water but it's side shore almost side shore conditions which is not so often that we have it in Lithuania. Right? Uh, south not not too often definitely um so yeah it's nice clean um the wave is a touch small now so yeah we'll wait a little bit and uh, then hopefully the wave picks up we the rain goes away, the sun comes out, and we have a perfect day. <laughs> Hopefully. The sun part is not very likely, in my opinion. Martinez <laughs> is a bit more hopeful. More optimistic, you know. Yeah, so we'll see what happens, but either way, we'll get in the water with the wave gear, um, do a few front loops for sure, and uh, hopefully some nice wave rides as well. So. Peace. Oh, the beast and then, like, oh. uh, So first we start with uh, Martinez and as you can see going out is not so easy, there was little wind. Some uh, front loop attempts and some riding. Yeah, with Martinez, I think the main issue was the uh, timing of the wave. Once he times it right, he hits it really nice. Uh, but yeah, sometimes he just uh, was not turning um, at the right time. So as here, you can see he turned quite a bit too early into the wave on the first turn. And then the second turn, he absolutely smacked it and it looked great in my opinion. So yeah, he can definitely get a good turn in. Here you can see me get washed while waiting for the wave and he continues to one of the better, bigger waves of the day. Maybe a bit too early and not enough speed in my opinion, let me know what you guys think.
probably not worth going up on that one. And yes, sometimes we had to swim for our gear um, because even though the wave doesn't look like it, it can be quite powerful even though it's mellow, but it wraps the equipment away from you fast. And here you can see my riding. So the main mistake I see is that I don't get uh, high enough on the wave for the top turn. So basically I start doing the top turn in the middle of the wave rather than at the top like here or even I started at the bottom part of the wave which looks really really stupid in my opinion uh, but yeah that's I didn't realize that when I was sailing I thought I'm turning at the top to be honest uh, but as you can see I'm so far away from it so that's kind of my biggest takeaway just delay the hit and try to hit at the higher part of the wave I was pretty happy with the waves I was picking from what was available and to the part of the wave that I was aiming, just yeah, need to get uh, much more radical with the top turn, I think. And uh, going out with very little wind was tricky, as we are not used to these side shore conditions. Here is Rokas, he's a lighter guy on a uh, big gear, um, so he had much more power in his tail and was able to do some front loops. Uh, but he's definitely more into jumps than into wave riding, so I think it was his first proper time actually trying to wave ride. Um, so yeah, he, he needs some work, but here he caught an awesome wave. Just also could, could hit it a little bit later, I, I think, and probably needs carry a little bit more speed and change his trajectory to get more vertical into the lift. Well, tell me what you are saying about how to deal with the kite surface and the waves. I'm just going for it, like you said. For the kite surfer? You just go for the <laughs> kite surfer? No, okay, so just to clarify what I said, usually the kite surfers just get in the way when you're riding the wave. So I said my way to deal with it is I pick a wave, I stay on the wave, then when it forms I start riding it and then I hit the lip where I want to hit it. And if someone is there, for example if the surfer decides to suddenly switch 180 and go back into the wave, then it's his problem, if not mine. And uh, I'm not even looking at them and somehow it works. Like, if they see you are committed, they don't even try to go near you, or they try to avoid yeah, you. Yeah, I agree with you. So, yeah. Just be committed. Just, just be committed. Just go for it, always. Yeah. yeah so, can you comment on the position? I mean, you can see it's a proper slab squat since the heels were not lifted off the ground. Both hands are usable, one to hold a cigarette, another to hold the balance. Or, or optionally, a bottle of vodka which wasn't in use this time, but you can definitely use it. So, learn people. So guys, I hope you had a nice look at the conditions and at the sailing footage. I hope I had enough of it. Otherwise, maybe this vlog just happened in my head and uh, there was actually nothing to publish. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see uh, how it was and uh, see you guys next time.